Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Alright, so uh, in today's video, we'll be uh, looking at uh, an exam question, GCE 2019 exam question paper 2, uh, geometric progression. Alright, so uh, before we can attempt or answer the exam question, there are basic things we need to understand before we attempt the question and these things are you need to understand what it means geometric progression or GP this GP is simply uh, is simply a, a pattern or arrangement of uh, of of of, uh, of numbers whereby for somebody to find uh, the term needs to multiply the previous term by uh, the constant and uh, what I mean is this if you have uh, terms for example 2 comma uh, 4 comma 8 comma 16 and so on and so forth so in order for you to find uh, this number here you need to multiply a certain number by this one you find this one also, the same thing must happen to this one. There is a number you need to multiply by this one to find this one. And also, this one. For you to find this one, you need to multiply that same number, the constant, by this one. You get this one. Okay? Hopefully, it's making sense. So, this is what we call uh, geometric progression. Alright. So, under pro uh, geometric progression, there are some basic things you definitely have to understand and there are a lot of them uh, one of the things is what we call common ratio what is a common ratio a common ratio uh, is denoted by a uh, small letter r here this small letter r so what does it mean remember here I said there is a number which you need to multiply by this one to get this one. Also by this one to get this one. By this one to get this one. That number is called common ratio and it is noted by uh, letter R. Alright, so uh, let's try to see on how you can identify a common ratio here. So a common ratio here can be identified by getting the number if you have these two numbers for example these two numbers i want to find the common ratio i'll get the one which is in front this one divide by the one which is behind which is this one and then i'll get two so my answer here will be two this is a common ratio the same thing will happen if i were to get these two i get eight let me put it here eight divide by four i must get two the same thing must happen if I get 16 divided by 8. I'll get 2. So this 2 is my common ratio. Common ratio. And it's noted by small letter R. So in this case or in this sequence, the common ratio is 2. So let's see, 2 multiplied by 2, 4. 4 multiplied by 2, 8. 8 multiplied by 2, 16. So this is our common ratio. It's very important to know this thing. And there is uh, something denoted by a letter A, small letter A. In this case, if I want to find my A, my A will be 2. 2 is my A. So, this 2 is my A. What does it mean? It means any sequence, okay? Any sequence. The number that is at position 1 or the first term, the first term or the first number will be called A. This is the first term. So, this A means the first term. In this case, the first term is what? Is 2. Thank you. Let me, let me also give you some other stuff. You also need to know this formula. You need to know this formula. It's very important. So this formula, if you are able to see nicely, it says T is equal to A 
r to the power n minus 1. So remember, r in this case is what? It's 2. And a is 2. This 2 is our a. r is what the constant that we are multiplying throughout to get the next term. So uh, I may ask you that uh, find the third. We know that here it's first term, second, uh, third is over here. So here there is first term, second term, and the third term, fourth. So if I ask you that, okay, have these numbers, there is two, four, comma, four, comma, blank, comma, 16, dot, dot, dot. And then I say, find the missing number. I know you guess, huh? Because the numbers are very simple here. You guess that it's eight. But in case you don't want to guess, in case you don't want to guess, there is a formula we use, and this is a formula. You say t, okay, t, which t are you, are you looking for, is the third term. So third term, we know that this is a first term, second term, and then third, third term. We are looking for third term. So third is three. So three, uh, t uh, sub three is equal to our first term, which is a, is two, and then our common ratio. You just get two numbers. This you say four divide by two, which is equal to two. So this is our common ratio. So I'll write it here where r is, and then where this n. Look at this one. N I had to put three. And where there is n here, I'll put 3 minus 1 because I'm looking for the third term. And it must give me 8 here. So let me solve here. I'll have 2 times 2 to the power 3 uh, minus 1. It's 2, which is equal to 2 times 2 to the power 2 is uh, 4. So 2 times uh, 4, it's 8. So you see? The missing number here is 8. I've just used the formula. I've used the formula. This is how this formula works. It's very important. Again, there is another formula. This formula. This formula is also important. This formula will help you find the sum. If they have given you maybe 1,000 numbers, okay? 1,000 number in the GP. And they ask you to find the sum. How can you find the sum? Let's say, how many times do we have? 1, 2, 3. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, if I ask you to find the sum, I know you say, uh, let me write here, you say, 4, uh, is it 2 plus 4 plus 8 plus 16 is equal to, what's the answer? This is uh this is equal to thirty I think yeah thirty because this plus this six six plus uh six plus uh, eight is equal to fourteen fourteen plus sixteen is thirty so it's thirty so the sum of these numbers is thirty now let's say they have given you numbers from one up to maybe one billion how do you calculate them you just say you use this same formula S N uh, or let me just calculate the sum of these numbers, not using the formula, not just following them the way they are, using this formula. I'll say sum of four, okay, terms, A is two, and then R is two, we found the, uh, the common ratio is two, N is four minus one, over R is two minus one. So we do our calculations here, we have 2 here, 2 to the power, we start with the bracket, use board mass. So you say 2 to the power 4 is 16 minus 1 over 2, which is equal to 2, 16 minus 1 is 15 over 2, is it over 2? No, over 2 minus 1, over 2 minus 1 here. So here... This is 15. We know that inside the brackets, when we say 1, 
um, 2 minus 1, it will be equal to 1. So the denominator here will be 1. So you say 2 multiplied by 15 is 30. The answer is 30. Hopefully you are following what is happening. This is how this uh, for, uh, formula works. Okay, This formula is how it works. All right. There is also another formula. So this formula is a sum to infinity. If they ask you to to remember, look, let me let me let me just say something about this one. Here they specified that find the to, uh, the number of four terms. Now, what if somebody asks you to find the sum of numbers which do not end, like from the GP? So we write s, and then the infinity looks like this is equal to a one minus r this same i've just copied the formula this same formula is the one which works so here where there is a you put two isn't it a is the first term look at our sequence here the first term was what was two here hopefully you're able to see the first term is two so put two minus one and then this is it this is uh this is uh uh, common ratio is uh, is 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 is, uh, is two. And then you solve. Once you solve, you get something like this. And then the answer will be negative two. So this is the sum to infinity of this sequence. Okay. All right. Uh, I think at this time, let me introduce the question I want to solve for you. This is the question. And this question came in 2019, GCE. So how do you solve such a question? So solving this question will be very simple. As they have said, this is geometric progression. The third term they have said is 16 over here. Let me underline so that we, we, we see important points. This is 16. So they have said the third term is 16. So the third term, the term at position number three is what? 16. Okay. And then they have also said the, the fifth term is five. So the, I mean it's four. So the fifth, this is this, this is th third, four. So since they have uh, given us this and then they say we find the first term and the common uh, ratio, uh, common difference is supposed to be common ratio here I guess so it's supposed to be common ratio so if I wrote common difference I think there's a uh, it must be common ratio because we're dealing with GP GP is common ratio I don't know if I just messed up or I just copied the question like this. If it uh, it is like this, then uh, um, the question was uh, or was typing error. It's supposed to be common ratio. So how do we find this common ratio? So finding the common ratio, common ratio, we know first a, we find our a. We want to find a. We don't know our a. Our R, which is common ratio, we don't know. So we are looking for these two things, R and A. Remember in one of our examples, let me, let me, let me find it, this one. If you're able to see properly, this one. We used this formula to find the nth term, okay? The term. So since we used this formula, we're going to use this very formula because in the question they have given us see, the terms and the values which are falling on those terms. For example, third term, there is 16. And then see, uh, fifth term, there is 4. So why can't we use this uh, this formula to get these... Uh, to, we, we use these same terms as well as the values to find these two. So we'll get the formula. The formula is T sub N a r to the power n minus one so we're going to use this formula let me let me let me get a piece of paper so that we do our calculations from this side we know our third term 
third term is 16 our fifth term is 4 the formula to use is this one all right so on the first i mean the fifth term fifth term we have uh, the answer there is 16 which is equal to did I say fifth term? Third term, not fifth term. Third term, the answer is 16, which is equal to A, R, the nth term here. I mean, the position here. What position is this? It's third. It's three. Okay? So, we forget about this. Let's do this. This is equation one. We go to number two. On fifth term, there is four, which is equal to A, R, the power five minus one so i'm just putting n i put the nth term there i mean the, the 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 position which is fifth on n and for this one i had to put three i'm just putting here and then the answers here i'm putting this answer is over here and this one is here like you are trying to find a term which is was is on third position use this formula so since i have these two formulas i can clean them up I'll start with uh, I'll start with the first one. This this will be my two. I'll start with my one. So my one since there's sixteen is equal to a r. Here I'll clean it up. It will be two. Three minus one is two. And then for this one, I'll say four is equal to a r power four. Three. I mean five minus one is four. So uh, which equation will be easier to work with? I think this one will be easier. Let me call it 3, and this one I'll call it 4. So at this point, 3 is quite easier. So I'll solve for A. So for me to solve for A, I'll divide by R squared, divide by R squared. Okay? Let me use blue. I mean, yeah, blue. I think it's finishing this one. So I'll divide here, divide here to cancel. I'll remain with A. This A is equal to 16 over R squared. So since a is equal to 16 over r squared, I'll get this stuff over here and plug it here in the next equation. Okay, I used the one uh, equation one. I solved it. I cleaned up. It came to equation three, and then this same uh, equation three I solved for a. Okay, after solving for a, I'll get this a and plug it in equation four which came from equation 2 this one so i'll say 4 is equal to here where there is a i'll put the value of a which i found which is 16 over r squared and here there is r to the power 4 so i can divide this i know it can cancel r squared divide by uh, r to the power 4 divide by r squared it will be like this this will disappear. I will remain with something like this. At this point, I can divide by 16, divide by 16. So I'll remain with this. Uh, even here, 4, 4 can go into 16. So I'll remain with something like this. So at this point, for me to solve for R, I will square both sides. And I will get the value of R to be equal to 1 over 2. So the value of R here is 1 over 2. So we have solved for R. This is a needed answer for R in our question here. So since they said they wanted common ratio, so our R in our question will be 1 over 2. This is our R. We also need to find the value of A. So A, we have A here, but the a we have here is 16 over r squared. We just want to have a constant this side, a number. So we'll say 16 divided by the r we have found, which is 1 over 2. And when we solve here, 